Holy shit. Welcome <laughs> to the Everyone's Different Podcast. Hell yeah. I'm one of the hosts. I got my boy. Young Trench. Young Trench in the building. Yes, sir. And we have the very first guest of the podcast. The legend, the man, the myth. Christopher London. Burgers? LSK, bro. Man. The first guest. Hey, thank you guys for having me. Yes, bro, sir. Honor. Thanks for being here, bro. Second podcast, crazy. man. This is crazy. And now I'm the first guest. Like, you shouldn't have, man. <laughs> yes, sir. Now nah, that's how we had to do it. So, how you guys doing, man? I mean, we're beautiful. We're beautiful this right now. This is a we're nice spot. I can, I can say this is, uh, I'm not going to lie, the best podcast uh, setup, I would Studio. say. Studio. You know I'm saying? We're out in, we're out in yeah, sunny LA. It's crazy. We're out in sunny LA. It's not so sunny right now, but this is a little remote podcast. Oh, I had like to get it. Chris on the first episode. I'm I'm exu- I'm super excited for this one. Yeah, definitely, bro. Yeah, we're in LA. Um, we usually come out here, you know, during the beginning of December, usually to bang out a bunch of videos. And uh, that Q4 we're grind, man. we're good. How are you, Chris? What's going Dude, on, man? I'm, I'm How's blessed. life? I'm blessed, man. You know, just announced uh, the gender. Baby girl on the way. Yeah. Girl dad. Yes, yeah, sir. I saw that. Yes, sir. Uh, so March, yeah, that's around when I'll be a father. You know what I mean? Fatherhood. How so does I'm excited that, for that. How does that feel, bro? Yeah, and you're a girl dad. Dude, How does that I, feel? That's see, crazy. the thing is, is like, I don't know. I feel like I'm a little different than most, you know, new dads. I'm like, I've been ready for a couple of years. I said, you know, growing up like around 28 to 30, I'm pushing 30. You know, I'll be 30 in April, so. My birthday present, you know, will be a daughter. So that's Dude. crazy. That's 30, 30. I can't, I can't wait, man. It's not nah, for real. It's, um, it's going to be definitely life changing, but I've already felt like a sense of just growth in, in my inner self, like mm-hmm. just being ready. Um, you know, being married for a year now has also just been amazing. And, uh, I just feel like way more mature in this past year, just like, you know, Bro, I months. was talking about that to him in the podcast. I felt like you've matured a lot in the last yeah. year, and this shit is going to mature you. Like I know, man. Insane. It's, yeah. Like a lot of people, I feel like in my like situation, I don't know. I just think they're a little nervous, but for me, like I don't know, I'm more prepared or just like. I don't yeah, know what bro. I'm getting into yet. You know, yeah. dads that are you know have children now keep telling me like, "Oh man, you're not you're not gonna sleep. You're 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 not ready." I'm like, "Bro, I I can't wait. I love like I'm excited for that challenge. You know, because yeah. it's like just taking care of your own like my little twin. It's like yeah. a whole new chapter of your life just mm-hmm. open, bro. It's yeah, man. It's uh, you know, my wife. She's been doing well. The first trimester was rough. She was like sick, throwing up yep. every day. Where like I was Damn, worried. Brie was. Yeah, man, it was like going into the wedding too, and then having to kind of like hide it in a way because you know um, she's had a history of miscarriages, so it's it's like also being a social media influencer is like we didn't want you know everybody in our business and yeah. stuff like that because once that. You, the moment you say oh I'm pregnant, everyone's like oh my god name exactly. gender what's this mm-hmm. that and then this just becomes more stressful. Yeah, but it was actually a little stressful like kind of keeping it on the low too given that Mm -hmm. our lives are so like public yeah public you know what i mean and yeah bro um i think that's why i have this new thrill because you know just like literally yesterday we announced the gender which we've known for 11 weeks now so that felt great should i um, knew yeah you knew oh you were at the wedding i was at the surprise gender reveal it was crazy i'm sitting there like what the hell is going on oh it was it's Chris's gender. I'm like, not, not only did we announce we were pregnant, yo. some people knew, um, very few, even in not even all of two hype only Jesser only knew because, uh, there was one like party we were at and Christina, his girlfriend kind of could tell Bree's like signs of like, wait, mm. you not drinking what you usually yeah. take a little sip, yeah. and, you know? Yeah. And, uh, she caught on. So Bree, of course, Bree ha- struggles with keeping secrets if somebody like presses her you know that's and I, I can understand you yeah know? It's, and, that's I mean, exciting it's a, it's a baby too yeah like, that's like that's okay a big you got thing. me you got yeah, me. that's yeah, a big yeah. thing so um i knew jesser knew um beforehand but nobody else did so i felt like i did a pretty good job of keeping it you know Hell on yeah. the low and then just surprising everybody at the wedding was yeah. very special and then on top of that not even just announcing like 
that we're pregnant, you know, we're also doing a gender reveal, which is crazy because you got to be, you know, a certain weeks along to really even know that. I mean, nowadays with technology and shit, we had to, we went to a, a specialist. You can know the gender within like, I think like 10 weeks or something crazy. Oh, oh damn. For real? Yeah. Some, something like that. But, um, wow. We knew, uh, pretty early and then we were kind of like, because of her history of miscarriages, we had to be careful. Cause you, if you announce like, it's really heartbreaking cause we've, you know, dealt with miscarriage before. So that's yeah. another thing you got to keep in mind by before you like tell people. Yeah. Um, mm. Because you just never know. And so that was one thing that was really stressing us out. And especially, you know, my wife just being on edge of like, mm. oh my gosh, like I've never, I've been this far along. Am I going to make it past, you know, this week? And she, you know, thank God we're, you know, where we're at today and further along. So she's less stressed and now we're kicking into that third trimester. You know, she's 27 and a half weeks. So it's right there. It's yeah, next, bro. Ne- once January hits, like, it could it could happen. Like, any you could yeah. have, you know. Yeah. You never know. I the mean, due I, date. You know, another thing that's crazy is the uh, the due date is her birthday, March Whoa. 4th. Yeah. No so if way. that happens. <clears throat> yeah. I don't know, man. Damn. So, so gender reveal for your birthday and then kid could be on her birthday? Um, so no, my birthday is after her. Okay. okay. Um, so my, f- my 30th will just be with her. her yeah. Presents, you yeah. Know that's what I'm sick. So yeah. she'll be a month old and, yeah. uh, yeah. I mean, given if she's born on yeah, yeah. her birthday, but yeah. she could be born before too. So you never know, man. So I mom, just, my mom had to wait an extra 10 days for me to pop out. So yeah. So I was, damn, I think really? I was like two, <laughs> I might've been two weeks early. I okay. Think. So yeah, man, it's it's crazy. Anything yeah, you happens. never know. How different does it feel calling her your wife versus when you were calling her your girlfriend? I mean, the fiance? moment like we started dating, I had her as wife in my phone. So that that's boy so knew. Fire. Yeah, yeah that's so like, he knew, I mean, bro. Like, as soon as <laughs> from the jump, because we had like this inside joke, like she wouldn't she wouldn't save my number or whatever. Or, like we had these like nicknames. Mm-hmm. And, um, it like the moment we both saved you know each other's number i have a wife so it was it's kind of destined to but, be but you guys met on twitter yeah what? you met your wife no i didn't on know that. twitter dog. and you know shout out to my supporters because they threw the lob hashtag call girl <laughs> twitter you know i was a i was a little demon online you know what i'm saying a little yeah, fuck boy bro. Yeah. um so i was looking for a, a tall glass of water and they oh. threw me a lob and I fucking LeBron I mean, that bitch. You were on your light skin shit. Have had to do it. For I, a did, I did. I did. I <laughs> did. Yeah. My story times are crazy, but you yeah. know, I think that's the just the part of you know human growth. You oh, know, yeah. as a man, you find the right woman, you will become a man, whether you think you won't or not. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And your perspective will change too, if you know, for the for the better, of course. Yeah. yeah. You know, you could feel like you know everything, but I think she's taught me like that. I don't, you know. Yeah. So, I mean, that's the good. point. It's kind of supposed to show you like a different side of you. Mm-hmm. So like the real you. Yeah, you know? exactly. Or Definitely. who you aspire to be. Yeah. Kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? Because you may think like, oh, this is who I want to be when I'm older. Or this is the type of man I want to be. But then when you find that woman and realize, OK, yeah, maybe tweak that a little bit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I think that comes yeah. with how you grew up, too, because I feel like I grew up kind of like tough love was the love you know what mm-hmm. i'm saying so like emotions weren't really like common in the household my dad's nigerian yeah and stuff, so it's yeah. like straight a's play ball you oh, know dude. if you're not playing ball what are you doing you know what i mean so it's like i never i was always on go like sh- work and only work you know yeah but she's kind of humbled me in a way of just kind of like recognizing that all right, let's take a second. You can work, but you got to analyze and recognize people's feelings too, Mm -hmm. you know, which I think I kind of lacked in the past. And I didn't know that, you know? Yeah. Um, And even hers too. Um, But that's That's why I love her so much, you know what I mean? Because it's like, that's the type of, you know, things that once I realize I'm tapping into a new, like, like aura of me, Mm -hmm. because... I want to be the best version of myself. And I, would, I I truly believe like having that partner can push you to that, you mm-hmm. know, and you need kind of like somebody to do that. Because if you're just 
riding dolo who was there to kind of like keep you grounded or tell you like hey that's not really the right thing the that right you're doing real, yeah exactly bro. brie is a real one bro yeah, like man. i remember even being like the first time we would pull up to the two hype house yep. like brie was making sure everybody was good she's great man. like you know we're the guests coming in i'm just fresh on youtube man, like shout out great. i don't know if i ever told you this but shout out to you guys for like having us pull up early on oh yeah like man Two hundred thousand subscribers mm -hmm. or something like super small and we learned you know me and trent learned so much from you guys and shit so we do truly appreciate that shit yeah, man of course but um no i remember brie like you guys need waters do you got like every day she, i'm just like bro it's crazy she is a real I'm like all right you kind of like you're stressing out like you're a little too nice baby you know you could chill <laughs> a little bit you yeah know? but yeah. that's just her man that's that's what i love about her you know she i can always count on her and that's what you need man well yeah and it's yeah. good because you you know you can count on her to be an oh, amazing yeah. like mother for your kid oh bro, bro. yes bro i met her when she was like a nanny bro she was already taking kid taking care of other people's oh, kids you know what okay I mean? so yeah yeah she already that's got lit. that experience experience bro <laughs> she's dealt with the explosions and the baby things so she always laughing at me talking about like oh you're not ready you don't even know what you're in for i'm like okay well i can't wait to get shit on and <laughs> yeah feet yeah. on and stuff but it's yeah. kind of weird to say out loud but it is uh it is very exciting good all right you mentioned the story times mm-hmm i used to watch those when i was a kid like i remember first video i ever saw of you was I don't know why I decided to look up, like, light skin something. Like, I was trying to figure out how to be the proper <laughs> light skin. I remember watching this video where it was you were, like, your morning light skin routine or oh, some yeah. shit. Oh, <laughs> man. So I remember watching this video just trying to, like, trying to figure out how I could be the perfect light skin. I remember watching, <laughs> <laughs> watching I Dude, was watching you. I you was were basing your, your daily bro. routine off of what Chris and was doing? And you know what's doing? funny? It's like those videos like are just, they were just scripted, bro. Like I would just, like I used to write like comedy. Like yeah. I, I, I try to be funny. You yeah, know 100%. I mean? And because uh, that's what I kind of like, like who inspired me was comedians and mm -hmm. shit. And like I wanted to do like, because at that time too, like, 2012 20 to 2014 i'd say was like a skit era like you know what i mean well, like yeah like, bro i remember like on youtube yeah on youtube i remember like, watching like you and like travi yeah. yeah like i that was the shit that i used to watch when i was younger so i was just like i was a big uh i mean i'm still a big timothy de ghetto fan oh hell he yeah put me on to like all the skits and travi too you know mm -hmm. he actually put me on to youtube um, just getting in the space, getting familiar with people, you know, introducing me to people that are big in the space and like, shout out to him. And yeah, man, it's just, it's just a crazy small world because of the internet. You know? Yeah. I mean, it's dude, surreal. so you've been doing this now for what? 10, 10 years, 10 years. My 10 year mark was in August. So from August, when you started when the YouTube started channel, my YouTube channel, um, <clears throat> like, and when I say start, I mean like a video where I'm like, I'm, I want to be a YouTuber. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I think I made the channel like 12 years ago. Okay. But I started on August 10th. Okay. Damn, that's crazy. You remember 2011. that? 2011. August 10th, 2011. 2012. 2012. Holy, wow. holy shit. Yeah, 2012. Yeah, see, so. I was wow. one year out of high school. Yep. So I was in college, yeah. So, so did you just always find yourself to be a creative person or was it just like a random thing you wanted to yeah, venture why, into? Like, why did you, why were you just like, oh, I'm going to start a YouTube channel? Um, well, my sister actually got me into like YouTube, like, cause we would always make videos together and I was into like animation. So I would make like little fucking stick figure. Animations. Okay. <laughs> That's lit. And that was, that was popping too. Like those, I would love the, uh, I draw forgot my life and stuff. You remember that? Yeah. That was a yeah. thing. Um, I used to watch these like fighting, uh, animations that were like just stick figures. And, okay. um, so I would be in high school. I took classes for it, but then, you know, I don't know. just, I wanted to do more like acting in a way and just do it on my own because i felt like i was a terrible actor but if i'm the motherfucking director or producer you can't tell me <laughs> you, i'm ass so. you can't mess it up <laughs> yeah like you know you're the boss so um me and my friends um growing up we would just do like skits and everything and actually yeah now i think about it 
my friends really got me more and more into just like creating um and that's what we would do in our spare time like is either playing video games or we would go like record them like we'd make movies it's crazy like all my <laughs> old videos would like we de- like dead ass wanted to be like a quentin tarantino type shit that's like, we're so making, lit like, zombie films oh shit <laughs> it, it's cr- it's bad to look yes, back on, to but, party city damn. Get bro some i was I, I dead ass was like inspired by like game of thrones too really? back in college in like 2012 and we were you know, debating, like, writing out a whole script of, like, a, a parody. Because parodies were big, too, back True. then. So, like, we would do, we wanted to do, and I wanted to direct, like, a parody of, like, Game of Thrones. But, like, make it more, like, modernized and yeah. shit. But, yeah, man, I was kind of, I felt like I got into it at the perfect time. Like, it wasn't really a thing. No. And it wasn't saturated. Mm-hmm. So, I really just realized, like, okay, I can really start something here you mm-hmm. know and like i can't be wrong mm-hmm. and then once i realized like i really only got into it to prove to myself and other people that i'm not just like a basketball player yeah like, i didn't even tell people i played ball online for like three years yeah and were they even like paying on the platform yet or that's what i didn't think they nope. were um they what, weren't YouTube? they yeah. weren't paying yet but i did see that like people like Timothy Delegato were making like six figures from it. And I was like, yo, six figures, bro. Like, mm-hmm. bro, well, growing up, like my, my goal in life was to make a hundred thousand dollars a year. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know, but it's like, it, it's just crazy how like, it's all about perspective and reality Definitely. because it's like, if you grew up, like I didn't grow up with money. So it was just like a mm-hmm. hundred grand, like sim, like a fucking $10 million to me, bro. So I was like, yeah. that's what, I was really chasing after, you know, 100%. so I was doing every little thing to just make, you know, a couple hundred bucks here and there. But I, I think it was a sense of like doing it on my own too. You know, my parents would support me, but they didn't, you know, they didn't give me money. I didn't even know mm-hmm. if they had money or not, but mm-hmm. they acted like they didn't. And then when I got older, I realized that they did. And my dad was yeah. just being a cheap ass, but mm. that's fine. That's a different <laughs> topic. <laughs> so I, uh, yeah, I, I found like, dude, I've been doing brand deals since, like I started because there would there used to be this thing and I finessed it uh where you could put mid rolls and they'd pay you for a certain amount of views like there was this partnership program really and I had to desperately get partnered from like you know the full screen the motherfucking studio 71 like those networks yeah because what i used to do is click on my own ads in school and i my adsense was banned so the only way i could get paid through paypal was actually being partnered but the threshold to be partnered was so kind of it was kind of hard like you needed Mm. five thousand subscribers like Mm -hmm. a certain amount of views so i was just grinding trying to get to that and um i found one network particularly full screen and they were doing like these mid-roll sponsorship things and it, they were paying like 20 bucks every thousand views Damn. for there was one bro i'll never <laughs> forget there was one it was jimmy kimmel's it was just promoting jimmy kimmel's youtube channel and you know it's just like a typical ad that we do today what, like what year is this this is like 20 13 okay 2014 this is still like early this is early bro like nobody knew about this shit yeah unless you were in full screen so so to get monetized you had to hit that threshold i had to hit that threshold get signed and then i gave them my paypal so i could actually get paid from my youtube views okay because google would not pay me so i was just like why I was, wasn't google paying because i was you? banned like because <laughs> he was they, clicking I, his own ads yeah, i was like <laughs> i was like because if you i would i thought that i could go into Bro. my school computer lab <laughs> and i would go in different classrooms and just go to my channel and just click that and i was getting like a hundred couple hundred dollars like every week from that shit no way and then i got found out like damn uh, in like two weeks but Bro. i mean i got the four Bro. <laughs> You are a genius. So then, well, but then, but then I had to find all these loopholes. Like I was scared because my channel was terminated and, um, I started, I used my mom's account for the law or like my mom's name and all this shit to like really save me basically. Um, but yeah, then I started getting paid through PayPal and I was good to go. So I started going crazy. And then, like I said, the Jimmy Kimmel thing. It was forty dollars per thousand views. Bro. No, who and who was so, paying you this though? 
Okay. Uh, it was full screen because they just all and they do is just monitor your views. Okay. So, I like reacted to some girl eating a tampon. I don't know. Oh, if you I guys remember, remember that, that video. Shit. That was crazy. I reacted Yo. to it, right? And <laughs> it went viral. Yeah. Because like, it was like, bro, if you reacted to shit, like it just it was like huge. it didn't matter. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? So I was like, okay, reactions go crazy. All right, bet. So then. Uh, I reacted to some video I can't remember, but I put uh, Ray J and like some Ray porno J. in the back of my <laughs> on my laptop. So if people watch my video, they would just be like, "Yo, does this guy know he has porn?" In the yeah. Back? And then I put the annotation on the screen, and so people would be like, to get the annotation off, you had to click on it. Yeah. And what that annotation did was go to that reaction video, so I'd get like another twenty, thirty thousand views. And I made like <gasps> three grand off this video. You oh, came up, up bro. Since then, I was like, yeah, YouTube's my job, bro. Like, Holy this, shit. This is what I'm doing. So, wow. And then that's what really just like, like I was like, okay, I found my, my platform and my path. Like, So like 2013? And I, this is me like depressed. Like I tore a ligament in my foot. I'm playing overseas in England, bro. Like just in this basement hating life. And just like I found a new spark of life right there. Like it was like. It's crazy. Wow. And then um, when I left England, I came back to Kansas to play with my best friend at Newman University. And he was the guy that actually I grew up with. And that's where I made like videos with. And um, yeah, I was playing college ball while maintaining like the new viewership that I was getting because I wanted to, I was like, bro, I was getting paid. Mm -hmm. um, it was basically my job. So I didn't have to get a job when I came back to the States. And um, it was doing well. Uh, the, just I got a concussion, though. So that was like my worst concussion, too. So like having to maintain that the school. And then, bro, I was editing with like sh like sunglasses on. If you go look at my old videos, every video I have sunglasses on, like I was concussed. Like I should not have been Damn. doing what I was doing. But I was just so hungry for it because I knew like this was it. And then I was like getting a lot of traction. Like the n newspaper was talking about me. Like I had all these like flyers. Like I was just in pure grind mode. And um, And then when I lost my scholarship, I like went back into like this fucking depression and I couldn't even like look at a basketball for so long damn. And, um, without like tearing up just because like, damn, that shit was just like taken from me without like my control. Yeah. You know? Like I didn't choose to stop. Like yeah. it kind of like granted I could have kept playing, but it's like I can, but I'm playing without a free education and mm -hmm. that's what I really was playing ball for yeah and then over time as i'm like going to therapy and stuff just kind of like talking about it and thinking about it and i'm realizing like i didn't even really play basketball from the pure like passion of the, of sport, the sport itself yeah it was i was more as an entertainer like i just all i cared about was winning dunking on people and doing <laughs> shit that looked crazy which yeah. was shooting from long distance hell but yeah my coaches never let me do that yep. so like i would get benched anytime i try to shoot a deep three and but i would still try to shoot at least one or two a game yeah and you know over time i was like okay yeah like it basketball just opened doors for me it opened the door it didn't necessarily like my life isn't over because i'm not playing like no. i found a new lane you know what i mean so then once i realized that i moved back home with my mom in houston and I started playing like 2K. And then that's where I found like the, the my gaming passion. Cause I was mm -hmm. like, dude, people are getting paid for playing video games. Like the fuck I do this yeah. every day. Mm -hmm. So I made a gaming channel and this was back when I was working like two jobs. Right. And, um, one of my jobs was, uh, being like a tailor in suits, Jose bank. I don't know. It's like, I was a sales associate in a suit store. Okay. And the boss, bro, was just like, he was pissing me the fuck off. I was like trying to find a job. I heard like there was this driving job. I was about to be a fucking chauffeur, bro. But I was too Damn. young at the time because you got to be at least like 24. 24 I'm, yeah. I'm like 20 at the time or 21. And um, so I was like, damn, dude, I need a new, like, I need something else, you know? Like the YouTube shit's cool, but like, I'm trying to help my mom pay rent and everything. Like, yeah. I got bills now. I don't yeah. got free school and free housing anymore. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. shit. 
Uh, so I started making a new channel and I was doing two channels, uploading every day on both channels and going to my nine to five job. You were editing all of this Everything. by yourself? I did. I didn't even believe in an editor till I moved out to California. Like, wow. that's a whole thing too. Like, what was your main ad at this time? Like subscriber wise? Uh, I think I hit a hundred K while I was in college. Okay. Okay. So that was my first like milestone that I was like, okay, that's what that's why I was like really grinding too, because yeah. like I was like I got something here, and then I moved back home with my mom, and that's when I just you know pushed another gear, and um, and then it was that two K. I found the birth of two K there, um, and I loved that. I loved that community, and that's where I met like Jesser and Cash coming mm -hmm. in. And um, then I realized, like, damn, there's really no, like, forefront or, you know, basketball faces. Like, you got NBA players, but, yeah. like, personality-driven, yeah. not skill off of just, like, the sport itself, you know? Yeah. And I seen it. They have it for, you know, soccer and stuff. That's where, you know, you see the sidemen and things. Yep. And FIFA YouTubers doing that. Mm -hmm. I'm like, bro, like, what's stopping everybody from doing basketball IRL? And that's where it kind of sparked that idea. And then that's how I met Jesser. We were like, honest to God, I felt like we were the first, like, like random forfeit 1v1 basketball video. And then once we saw that take off, we we're like, okay, yeah, this is a this is a new lane. And I was I was telling Jesser, bro, like we could do more of this. Like, this is easy. We could just go, you know, hoop and record it and yep. inspire other people to do the same because I know there's people out there that are just like me that don't know what to do. They caught up an injury. And, you know, as an athlete, the moment your body shuts down and you're not available, you, what what are you doing? You got to have, like, you know, yeah. a backup plan. Can't perform. Um, which, I mean, I've always kind of – tried to pride myself I'm always focusing on plan a and not to have a plan b because yeah. i think if you start to think of a different plan if, you're if not you, really if you get on plan in. b you're not fully in on yeah that that's what a. i'm saying yeah. so it's like but at the same time it's nice to have a backup it is nice yeah. to have a backup <laughs> yeah. plan yeah he's as like as well if see. this shit really don't yeah, work out you know so always keep that in mind kids yeah. all right um but yeah i just like just seeing all the opportunities that came to me over time it was a matter of just, you know, never quitting. And I I know you guys can attest to that, too. It's just, like, always oh, trying yeah. to find something, like, another door to go through. And then you never know. You could find diamonds on the other side. 100%. Um, but, yeah, bro, I, I love this space. I love the Internet. It's how I met you guys. Yeah. You know, wonderful Literally, people. Literally, bro. And Literally. In basketball, too. Like, I think just creatively – there's so many ways to express yourself now. And I love that the internet can allow people to do that because I think people were so like, I was shelved, you know, like it also taught me to be more like social and, you know, I've, I'm very like introverted as a natural, like yeah. naturally introverted. I but think we all are. <laughs> the, in the internet's kind of like made me not be so mm -hmm. introverted because yeah. otherwise like you're not going to grow or meet new people or experience things unless yeah. you, really force yourself to get out there so, definitely yeah bro it's crazy so it's funny because trent always tells me like bro i watched chris london's story time videos and i'm just like bro like i wish i could have seen them because i didn't release i wasn't on youtube mm -hmm. during that time but trent was and every time we ever link up he's always like bro i can't believe it man <laughs> I used to watch these things. <laughs> Story time. No, it's so I, funny. I remember the first time we went uh, to the airport and you picked us up, and I was like, no fucking way. Oh, yeah. I this remember is, you telling me Where was me that? Too. No. <laughs> Yorba Linda? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, f the first, uh, wow. second, I don't know what house it was, but yeah, in Yorba Linda, and... Um, yeah, the story, I got some legendary story times. Yeah, I mean, bro. There were, I, I have to put this out there because a lot of people, like, especially like the dating story times, mm -hmm. like, that was part of like my comedy writing. Oh, so yeah. like the like worst. Date, what do you mean dating? So I used to have this series called Worst Date Ever. I don't yep. think they're up anymore. But Damn, those were you scripted. were making series? Okay. Like, so? Okay. Like, they, so how it happened mm. was like, okay, the first one was an actual experience but i kind of exaggerated for you know comedy purposes yeah. 
Mm. And then the second one, I think, I honestly don't even remember what they were or okay. what had happened. But I do know one for a fact was scripted as fuck. And, I mean, I just went with it. <laughs> because, like, it was satire based off this guy. I forget his name. But it was, if you know, there's this black and white uh, video on YouTube. And it was, like, something with the guy talking about chicken and waffles. Okay. And he was hilarious. Okay. It's, this is like 2011, bro. So if you weren't watching YouTube around then, you will have yeah. no idea what I'm talking about. But okay. he inspired the series. And, yeah, that's kind of like where it came from. And I was on the third episode, I said I shit on like a girl's like chest <laughs> or something. <laughs> and everyone bought into that. Every girl no hated way. me. Even to this day, bro. Like, uh, so my wife and I started the family channel. All right, the Obasekis. Okay. And in the comments, you see the girl saying that I watched Chris's story times, and it's amazing seeing how much he's matured over the years because I wow. used to despise this yeah. man. Like, I hate it. And even Bree would say, like, you do, you got to get rid of these. These are. I would, <laughs> oh, one time that sparked a, just a memory. ESPN tried to cancel me on one of them. No. Yes. Really? So, funny story. T Jazz, the we are um this is a podcast exclusive right here. All right. Oh shit. So one of my story times I had to delete because they actually gave an inside tip um to my manager that hey, just so you know, this so and so is gonna write about Chris if he doesn't delete this video because it's very like sexist or some shit. Okay. And this whole long thing. No way. And I was like, bro, first of all, it's scripted. Secondly, yeah, I'll delete that shit. I'm, I don't care. Yeah. yeah. And it, but it was just crazy to me that, like, you know, this is the time where I was, like, you know, coming up, hitting, just hit a million subscribers and everything. Yeah. And it was just like, damn, bro, like, can I just, like, live? And then this is the time, too, where I'm trying to, like, work with the NBA and everything. Mm. And I think, I don't know, man. It was just one of those moments where I'm like, okay. So that same day, I went back and deleted every fucking tweet. Yeah. Every, like, you can't find wow. nothing that's, you know, even skeptical. How, so how did ESPN even I find your video? I don't and even what? know. I don't know. I think like, it was just a – I'm telling you, the ladies were not fond of me, man. I just – I <laughs> must have been the Andrew Tate back in the yeah, day. I, I don't know. I was going to say, I mean, there was some pretty crazy shit. There was. There channel. was. There was. I, I have a story that I can reshare. Yeah, we here. need that. Um that a lot of oh. people don't know, but I find funny to this day. I had a, when I was making a gaming channel, uh, <laughs> this is embarrassing to say, it's kind of, <laughs> it's really cringe. <laughs> but uh, I was, I love Dragon Ball Z, of course. Yep. That's even where LSK came from, Light Skin yeah. Kakarot. But before Light Skin Kakarot, I was that Ninja Krillin. Okay. okay. <laughs> And it wasn't Ninja, okay, if of you course. get what I'm saying. Yeah, 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 for sure. And uh, so I was collaborating with these, like, Call of Duty YouTubers, right? And I was friends with them. And somebody I was kind of, like, in tune with was uh, S.S. Sniper Wolf, right? Oh, hell yeah. Before she, like, was big, you know, she was kind of, like, What's that girl's name? Uh, Nadia. She gets a lot of flack for like aimbotting. Yep. SS Sniper Wolf went through that. You know what I mean? Like she mm -hmm. went through a phase of like Call of Duty clips and stuff and, you know, faking her gameplays, whatever. Really? So I made like a story time about how I like, like knew her and just like, I don't know what I said. It was, it was some sh hating shit to be honest. Yeah. Like, I was just, you were hating on her? It wasn't like, it was like a fuck boy. Like, oh, I, I, I was like messing with her but yeah I said, nah and all this other shit but you're cabin but the funny the funny part about that story was i met her in person and she had no idea and this story kind of like had traction so i just always find it kind of like awkward and yeah. weird because i just happened to have, be friends with somebody that was friends with her and i met her i'm like should i tell her that that was me just so she like knows <laughs> <me>? <laughs> Hey, if she sees this, she'll know, and she doesn't give a fuck. I can tell you that. Okay. <laughs> Especially now. I yeah, mean, she, she got she's like doing 30 all right. million yeah, subscribers. She, she's I think doing she's, all right. I think she's all right. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I was just like, it's just crazy, like how long I've been doing this stuff, like yeah. for real, and just seeing people's like come ups is so like dope to me. You know, meeting people yeah. 
that I've seen like didn't even want to be a YouTuber and now they're like big. You know what I mean? Definitely, bro. Even myself. It's kind well, of Well, yeah, bro. I there was a time where I was making YouTube videos just when I was like a little kid and I, I remember basing my shit off you. Like I used to do story times. I, I remember that. I remember doing being like the time I almost died. Like I was doing shit. Dude, like that was that. <laughs> that was big though. Like I felt like there 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 was a story time era. Oh, one hundred percent. You know, I I would uh that's kinda Travi was somebody yep. I, I watched and looked up to. Um Bugatti Bees. And you guys, like, these are OGs, man. Like, mm-hmm. it's just, it's a different time. Like, oh, now 100%. you got the Mr. B style of, even editing has yeah. developed and evolved over time. And I think that's what you're going to witness over time on the platform is just that, all right, before, you didn't re- you could get away with videos on iMovie, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Excuse me. But now, people want, like, high edited high, fast paced yes. like you know just new shit everywhere like it's it's kind of hard to keep up with sometimes well, it's, it's like, all done the way that like television is done now like yeah. this shit you got to have 10 angles oh, in dude, your it's stuff like, it's movies yeah that's what, what i'm mean? saying like, yeah, you, like you mini even, movies i can't even watch old movies sometimes because the pacing's so dog shit slow mm-hmm. it's like YouTube is kind of like programmed or TikTok too with TikTok, short yeah. form sure. content like well, look look at YouTube Shorts right now yeah Bro, like you got to, you got to have that subtitle text in there. Otherwise it's going to flop. I don't know why, but that's just like, a hack. Bro, like ever since TikTok came into the game, Instagram used to be all pictures. Now it's straight Re- Instagram reels, Facebook I reels. That. I wish it's Instagram, awful. It's yeah, awful. It's but the problem is it's a dying platform. Kids like we're talking the people that run these platforms, like no matter what we think we are like a prominent thing on this, like websites and stuff. Bro, the people that are like 10 to 13, they run this shit yeah. and they're growing up on these like 30 bro, second it's videos. Crazy, bro. So it's they don't crazy. have attention spans for anything like that. I know, man. And it's kind of scary too because I just think back like, you know, I'm literally about to be 30, right? And I've been on YouTube since I was like 19. So it was like when I was making videos at 20, 21. I'm like either cringing or just like, dude, I wish I could go back into that creative mindset because when I try to think of some stuff now, I'm like, I don't even process the same like shit, you know, like I used to. So it's like, is this creative? Is it not creative? Is this funny? Is this fun? Well, and it's hard because your ideas have to be so much bigger than they used to be. Like, you got to keep evolving with, you know, the audience, too. And you think you could post a fucking light skin routine now? That shit would do 25K. Like, it wouldn't do shit. It's not even it's not even that. It's like, I think just as a society, it's like not like I don't think any YouTuber can really post no, that you can in a way yeah. like and if they do they have to edit it in a format of like you know what i'm saying the new era yeah because it has to be title thumbnail like title thumbnail is the thing now if that shit isn't good it's, it's not crazy, gonna do bro. good yeah it's, like you see mr beast thumbnails they're saturated as hell dude, the they're, thumbnail game is crazy like that's really the most important part mm-hmm. it's like that and like you said the titles it's just it, and it's kind of sad for me too because i think like I don't know, a part of me feels some of the YouTube algorithm isn't based off the content itself. Yeah. It's more like whatever you're tricking the system. To oh, 100%. Think. But, hey, you can't hate the player, hate the game. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Either adapt or get left behind. Mm-hmm. So For real. You can't really get mad at change. You just well, got to. And it's hard to get mad at YouTube because it's the people clicking on these videos so it's like somebody's that's, liking it that's you know? that's what they want that's what people want and obviously and numbers don't lie you know? exactly so. sometimes you want to do it only for yourself but you have to rem- at the end of the day it is still a job it is so a like, job it is yeah a job. i feel well i feel like people don't realize like this is a full-time business mm-hmm. like full-time and i think to that point it's like i always think like people are like oh like you're disrespecting like get a real job like a nine to five or Mm -hmm. you know some people you know will say like youtube's not like a real job or Mm -hmm. whatever but it's like i want a nine to five because sometimes youtube feels like it's nine to nine Mm -hmm. you know what i mean like it's 24 hours like it's longer than a nine to five yeah it's like it's like i'm going to bed like freaking out what's going up tomorrow or if everything's ready for it like you know what i mean mean, that's like common in any job Mm -hmm. but it's 
it's just a constant thing. I'll be out just walking my dog and I see something and it sparks a video idea. Exactly. I got to go home and fucking record it before I forget or, exactly. you know, or before it's not even trendy anymore. Like the trends is what kills me because the way I program and for my mental health, like lately I've just been like I'll record and like stack videos. That way I can have more breaks because I used to be on this like disgusting wave of just like record, edit, upload, same day, you know? But yeah. I realized over time that was making me somebody that I didn't want to be. And, you know, that's just how my mind's, like, programmed now. So I'm used to, like, okay, I record it when I'm in the mood to record. And, you know, I am I got editors now and a team. And then once it's ready to my liking, sometimes I'm not in the mood to even, like, review a video because I got to be in the right headspace. Yep. And that's more important to me than making like the deadline of like the trends but it's yeah. also hurting me because i'm not like i'm way behind like I'm but late. you're not catching the trends yeah so i see what you're saying it's like reactions like i love doing reaction videos but by the time I, i'm like mentally there you know to yeah. do it and want to do it i'm it's yeah. too late if i mean well yeah especially with the reaction shit if you're if like let's say you react to like a new speed video that shit's not popping in two days yeah you, it's, it's literally like, like old news like you have yeah. bro, a album second. will drop at midnight if you tweet about it at 2 a.m they're like bro you're late yeah exactly like, you're late dog <laughs> yeah <laughs> sorry i was doing shit like yeah. fuck like, yeah dead ass it's just that's just what it is that's the internet for you and yeah. it's like as as that being your occupation it, it can get you know stressful sometimes which that's why i always tell people man make sure you you know, checking up on your mental health, you know, checking yeah. in. I I'm, I do like therapy weekly or biweekly whenever I can just to keep my mind sane because this shit yeah, can really bro. like spin you off guard and put you in dark places, you know? Yeah. Seems like you're making a healthy decision. Yeah. Oh, dude, that. I've, I've, I've seen it all. I felt it all. Like, you know, I've even documented, I put videos out of me just going to the hospital and it's like, why am I here? And it's like, because you're just overworking yourself mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. just in stress, you can stress yourself out to put you in the hospital, believe it or not. Like it's, oh, yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't know that was a thing. And I had to like learn that the hard way, you know? So just to make sure I don't go there and you know, I'm good now, but well, yeah, when it's you have, like, a public job, too, it's, like, there's a lot of anxiety to it. Even, like, I don't know if you still are at this point, but, like, sometimes you're, like, damn, is this video going to do good? Mm -hmm. And, like, that type of shit I think can for be me, stressful. what I've learned to that point is, like, the video will do good to me if I think it's a good video. Okay. So, the numbers, I stopped looking at numbers as much because it was kind of, like, making me feel bad. If yeah. Something, it's almost like, damn, but mm -hmm. I th I think... At times, like, if you focus too much on the numbers in this occupation, like, you're never going to be happy. Mm -hmm. You're always yeah. going to strive, which is good to strive to, you know, outdo the next one. But if that's your sole purpose, like, you're not in it for the right reason and well, it yeah. only lasts for so Definitely. long. And this, it, you're bound to have ups and downs in, yeah. like, your career oh, like that. bro. You're and not yeah. constantly going to be at the top. Like, And I think that just means, like, it's time to reinvent. I feel like exactly. right now, for me, that's kind of, like, the space I'm in is, like, I'm reinventing myself, you mm -hmm. know, because doing this shit for 10 years, like, I mean, I did that with comedy. I was doing comedy. I got my first 100K from just straight skits and, like, reactions to skits and stuff, and then switched over to like 2k you know from 500k to a mil i was doing irl and 2k videos so and then a mil to two mil i was just doing like group videos and it's just like i think time and time it's just time for something new for myself not just for yeah. the audience but for me because it can get repetitive well yeah and you yeah. get super bored if you're just doing the same shit all the time and like when you're bored the audience knows you're oh they bored. can see it yeah, yeah like, exactly know. it's just Definitely. like and that's why i always tell people post what you genuinely want not what everyone what you think everybody wants to see or what gets the most views because yeah yeah you could get the most views bro but if you hate yourself when you're recording it what's the point like that's how i feel about 2k videos it's like yeah i know the 2k community like loves 2k videos and you know, at one point they would do amazing, but I stopped early because like I genuinely just had no thrill. Like it was like I was I hated my job. Like well, it's back hard. Job, just 2K like, fucking sucks. <laughs> so it, it does. And it was even <laughs> at a time where it was like, damn, like they don't care about 
us like at the all. creators yeah exactly I, yeah I, and the, and the creators are like boosting probably sales and oh, yeah. pushing it out to way i mean oh they're trying God. you know they're trying you these know? days but it's just still not like on that topic with 2k bro like the the legend grind like i feel bad because you know so many guys like will spend hours like like dude i can't even fathom how many hours it takes to get legend it's, or it's be ridiculous. the first legend ridiculous and then you see the reward for becoming legend yep i just saw this on tiktok like literally yesterday it bro, used to be 2K23, like 23 it's a goddamn hot wheels yeah, i don't know bro. a low rider and or you something. used to like fly Wait, in on gift? a helicopter and so shit. the the in-game item you get for becoming the highest rank in the game which takes literally i think a hundred real days i don't know yeah like so th- this is like this is it this is what people if you are first legend you get a lot of clout for the year like you're like that's just like a big opportunity right so i always yeah. encourage like hey if you got that dedication like yeah go for it because when every first legend has been a staple in the community, like Bro, you remember, you gotta you gotta dedicate like your a life, a lot of time to this. <laughs> your, shit. Life. Crazy. your life, your life, literally. and then so you're really putting wow. your life into the hands of the game itself, which isn't yeah. bad. I'm not knocking people that go for it. It's just sad to see that the company itself is like not keeping that in mind, mm-hmm. to where it's yeah. like, okay, you know, somebody's got to put a hundred days or whatever time into this. It's a lot of, and you're giving time. them a fucking low rider and like a few boosts like yeah yeah nah bro i'm good <laughs> yeah, like, bro. everyone's like literally said ah yeah thank god i'm and then they like the thing is everybody does this every year where they're they'll know like if it's worth the legend grind and i don't think it's been worth it since like 2k 17 yep. 18 i think so That's and crazy. that was kind of like my era of 2k um and it's just a shame because yeah, I, I, I don't want to go too deep into the 2K, but it's just, I don't know. That community will always be split to me, too, just because there's two different games. Like, there's a current gen and the next gen. Yep. Until the day that 2K says, okay, we're going to make a game that current and next gen can play together, and it's not separated from Xbox and PlayStation. I don't know if that's a it, console law or it's something. It's so stupid. But that's what's holding this community back, and it will forever be, like, whack until that happens because every popping game like call of duty i can play my friends that have xbox i can play with my friends that have playstation 5 all the same game but 2k you can't do that so if you have a ps5 i have an xbox we cannot play 2k and if you have a ps4 and i have a ps5 we cannot play together wow because that's current current is ps4 and then PS5. it's not even the PS5 same game are hard are they so, so hard to get you can't even go into a store mm-hmm. and get a ps5 why, why do you why do you think like what are they why are they holding that back why is I, it has to be some technical thing with sony and xbox it I must mean, be some weird legality otherwise thing, like they're just but, but then how, how <laughs> yeah. can call of duty do it that's what, you know that's what I'm saying. Thing. Like I don't, I don't know, man. I, I listen. I you're asking the right questions. It's just the wrong person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, don't, like, I don't know. I wish I knew. I wish we all knew. Yeah. I wish but it's for just. Real. I and that's when I also just I I was you know I tell the that's how two hype was formed. Honestly, it was just because like we were so invested in two K and I was like, yeah. No. No, we can't. This game doesn't like. There was a whole era of like Ellis, like they banned me and shit. Yep. They use creators. Like I know for a fact they use creators as examples. So oh, it's hell like, yeah. at that point, it's like, dude, don't reference me or. I feel like yeah. I feel like 2K. back in the day too, it was so different. Like I remember watching Chris move at the two K team Chris ups and moved, shit. Yeah. Like I feel like it was way more inclusive back then. They used yeah. to try and listen and stuff. Bro, in two K sixteen, I swear they had like creator challenges like yeah. i remember cash nasty having his own challenge in the game and man i, I don't want to talk about 2k <laughs> piss me off. well bro here my thing with 2k is bro they put the crazy layups in 2k oh yeah you know? i remember and that. i was not involved with that at all that, dog, I, like they I, they put the whole 360 behind the back layup in the video game see Bro, Tristan, I've, <laughs> I've heard it all, bro. Trust. Like, I've heard, like, uh, you're going to be in, like, the game. You're going to have this in the game. Yep. And I'm just, I'm, you know, I like to, you know, give everybody the benefit of the doubt. So I'm using COVID for 
their benefit of the doubt. One hundred percent. COVID's over. Yeah. Being, it, we're yeah, right. real, bro. We're all together. But I probably burnt the bridge already, so it's fine. Yeah. You I know. mean, whatever. It is what it is. That's just business, you know. Like I think sometimes, like you just gotta take it to the chin and keep it moving, you know. Yeah. And whether that's a company you like love and like grew up on, but you realize like as you get older, sometimes it ain't what you thought it was. Yeah. For sure. But besides YouTube, you have other companies as well I do. that you have started. Why Ooh. don't you talk a little bit I about that? I've heard about this. I do. Uh, so I have a, a trading card company called True Creator. Uh, founded it with Jesser, James, and another partner of ours. And we make influencer trading cards along Genius. with sports athletes as well. Um, you ha- you have a card. We with got a, us. we got a couple cards in there. And uh, yeah, man, no, it's doing it's doing great. I think the COVID really messed with our momentum and production, which was a bummer. Mm, but definitely, you know, I've learned a lot through just that business itself of just what to do, what not to do. You know, my experience working with like creators because we had over like forty. You know, and I wanted to. My dream of mine is to create a company that is for creators and about creators and just like is another uh sh- like revenue source for creators because i think with athletes like that is a revenue source like yeah. you see athletes they sign trading cards and they get like you know six figure deals off of that and you know yep. it's a great collectible for the fans as well like i love trading cards growing up um and i felt like you know as this influencer space is taking more serious and more new fans are coming into the space that really they aren't as connected with sports athletes like why not make influencer training cards yeah. and have a, a a platform for them to create more collectibles for their fans and that's kind of like what our vision is with the company there and it's doing really really well we just did a we launched phase rugs bundle that did well he had his own like phase carpet in a card, and that was numbered, <laughs> which was really dope. That's, sick. That's um, fire. I loved your relic in your card. It was was it your shorts or it was we, one of your merchandise? We, we sent in like game worn shorts. Yep. Um, I think maybe some socks. I just saw somebody um, pull like a one of one of your patch auto and it was like the sickest relic. It was like yeah. some fiery like logo. No, oh, I, dude, yep. honestly. I when I ripped a couple packs like packaging it's legit bro. Yeah no it's legit like, bro you guys, everybody like these cards are like yo like let me send this to PSA this yeah. is some legit You can grade shit. them too at uh at Beckett not PSA I mean you can send it to PSA but they we haven't I don't really rock with PSA so we didn't send like the die lines to like even grade like you can put it in the slab they just won't give you like an official grading, yeah. but you can get an official grading at Beckett. Yeah. Um, no, it's just crazy because it's like this shit looks like it should be on the shelves in Target. It should be on the trying, shelves man. in Walmart. I'm trying. It yeah, lo- obviously it looks that's the ultimate goal. Like yeah, that, that. I think it's like it's a learning curve, right? Like we're trying to figure that out, and that's what I love about that business is like that's a new like thrill for me that I've actually been focusing on a little more than youtube and behind the scenes and just like you know try because that's what i really want to do outside of youtube is build businesses and successful businesses there i think that's everybody right yeah that shit's fun and um you know i've just like i'm very passionate about trading cards too so it's perfect for me and then i actually just started uh i made a trading card game um which planning to launch I mean, hopefully by mid next year and end of the year next year. But like, I finally like found like I play tested it and like I've been working on it for like a couple years, like just trying to That's figure lit. out a game for like that creators can like have their own trading card, you know, and just like yeah, I can't say too much, but yeah, it's, no, it's that's- gonna be lit. It's gonna that's be lit. lit. Once you f- have something like that, I'll that have just- samples like. I'm hoping at the end of this month, but and I'll send you some. Yeah, yeah, send them, bro. But once you have something like like that, and it like hits, and like know, it go bro. like it hits that like, you know, because I've tried products, mm. putting products in stores and shit or whatever, and like, you know, we failed multiple mm. times. Yeah. But like once, if you have one 
Like, think about, like, Monopoly, bro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're going to be selling Monopoly forever. Yeah. For like, look at, like, years past like, us. like, Uno. You can't even make, like, yeah. They're doing collabs with Giannis on the shoes. Like, they're, like. That's so the goal, man. Stuff like that will be around a, after us. If you have a game like that that hits. Bro, I'm telling you. You when are you play the game. Sent. When you play the game, you're going to be like, yeah, this is it, bro. Bro, you are set if this thing hits here. Like, we're, we're talking about it right That's now. That's what I want to learn, too, is more like how licensing deals outside of, like, like creators work. Because even with creators, it's a little complicated. But, like, you know, with, like, animes, like, I want to work with, like, and collaborate with, like, animes like Naruto, Dragon Ball Z. Oh, my yeah. God, if I work with Dragon Ball Z. Um, and just things of that nature, right, um, is just a thrill yeah. for me. And, yeah, bro, like, I think uh that'll probably i honestly believe that'll be my big like thing not even youtube it's yeah there's gonna be something i make that yeah just explodes and that's my yeah. chase well but. yeah youtube at the end of the day i mean for a lot of people it's kind of like the thing that they're trying to use to build themselves oh, yeah, stepping up. stone look at yeah. mr beast yeah I mean, exactly yeah. his companies like and ksi Logan yep. paul prime i love that yeah shit. me too it's actually good. So nah, bro. I drink that shit daily. <laughs> yeah, nah, it's, if you can get it, it's good. Yeah, that shit's fire. I had a question for you, Mister LSK, about true creator. Yeah. Okay. How does it feel? I'm sure this is kind of a cool feeling to feel. Okay. Mm-hmm. How does it feel to see the cards that you're selling? Yeah. Sell for more money on ebay and Um, other sites like how does that feel i mean it honestly is like a crazy good feeling because i got into it just for like the creators and like the fans to have that cool collectible and chase after like that pack thrill that i always get in like 2k and all these pack opening videos and just pulling a your favorite creator right but seeing it like the prices on ebay's of like my auto like two hypes autos like i saw like phase rugs like everybody's even yours yeah well like, even like all the cards are selling for more than what you are selling them for yeah it's kind of like it's a it's damn. a weird it's a weird market to be honest like it's like you'll see some that's like crazy high and then you can get it for like a bargain like some like the same card is sold for like i don't know like five bucks yeah but one that sold for like 150 bucks right yeah so I think that's what's kind of like cool and exciting about this whole yeah. industry too, because it's like so untapped that bro. people don't know if they're getting like, like bro, I'm. Telling you don't you. really know what they're worth. Listen, bro. Listen, when it like twenty, because it's all about like aftermarket is all nostalgia, bro. Like that's that's all it is. You Hype. dictate the price. Like me and you, we buy shit that we like. We buy shit that we love. We set the price. If we have the money, we will pay whatever for it, all right? It's just yeah. how much are you willing to pay for it? Yeah. And that's what's that's why I don't really like um look too deep into it, especially now because we're so young. Yeah. But I mean, dude, just seeing it already, it's it's pretty yeah. dope and like that's crazy. It, it is a a very like humbling experience too just yeah. because like shh, we created that. You yeah know? well you know like it's it, it reminds me of like the stock market almost because mm. like okay you have all these creators right they're different companies and like someone may fall off someone might be bigger than they were dude you know after their card release bro you know so it's, it's like that? we signed aiden ross like we had his cards yeah and i told i knew i've just i knew aiden bro from when he had a million followers collectively like we yeah. go on everyone's socials and we add all of their socials yeah. collectively from the time we like made the card file and his was i rounded up it was like 900 something we rounded up to a million, printed that on his card, and you see what where he is now. Like that yeah. is like the true gem, like of our yeah, set, hell yeah. Right? Cause you and never know, you never know, and it's like it's it's so dope to see. And now you see his autograph like three fifty or like, but his, the the difference between series one and two series one, we had all the cards uh, have on card autos. Yeah, series two was the sticker autos, which collectors they want the on card right, but 
as the company, like we realized with creators, it took over like almost a whole year to get back the cards. Cause you yeah. know, like when you get shipped a bunch of stuff, like you're not going to see it right. Like it was a oh, headache, yeah. bro. I'm going to be honest. I did my shit at the last second, bro. Yeah. The yeah. deadline was coming up. I'm yeah. like, oh shit, it's That's been this it long. Be, That's everyone. I'm like, 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 fuck. So I'm, I'm, I remember sitting in the kitchen, bro, had like four. However many of these we had, five hundred, like five hundred yeah. laid out, and I'm going down. And I'm like, holy shit! Bro, I get, I've I signed get, probably like, how's your show? Four thousand, bro. Bro, I mean, I get to the first ten, and I'm like, look, and I'm like, no way! You gotta just this- rock some music, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, five hell and yeah. Just go, but I'm telling you, you know, athletes, yeah, they sign a hundred thousand, like mm-hmm. no, no cap, a hundred thousand. Like that- there's athletes that. We'll do that because they're getting paid like a dollar, like a dollar an auto. So they need like companies need filler cards of just Bro. like you know those rookies you've never really heard of. Yeah, yeah. they're getting six figures because fresh they're getting like every auto is one dollar. So if you do it a hundred thousand times, would you do it? I, oh hell yeah, yeah, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I mean, you know I mean, what? It's if gonna I be could, a couple of hours if I could out of my life. Bang out a couple thousand a day. Yeah, you just time it. They have managers that say, hey, today, like, literally, I think that's part of, like, Luca's schedule is they dedicate time to sign his card. That's crazy. And Luca's autos, we got one of them. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Well, okay, so is there anyone that you got under you with that that you were just, like, stoked about getting? Giannis. 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 I didn't even know you guys got Giannis. Yes. So he has, uh, like, about... 25 cards and they're all on card there's about seven variations of those one of ones and then there's like out of tens there's like 25 different cards that's yeah. in our set and throughout packs and like our products so and you can only get them in the pack so it's kind of crazy i haven't seen it hit oh we did hit it Mucci actually pulled one really no. yes so one out of the 25 out of the, there's still Damn. like 20 left like it's crazy Damn. That's, like i just saw somebody pulled the six way two hype auto which is like never been done so front and back it's all of two hypes autograph and it's a one of one and i saw that wow yeah, it's crazy someone listed on ebay for uh a thousand wow like, so and, and how there. much was that card like sold in a pack for um like Packs are seven, eight dollars. Yeah, okay. so yeah. bro, bro's selling it for a thousand off. He of pulled it. it. It was in our breaks, so we have a breaker, and he'll put jumbo boxes which you get like twelve packs. Oh, like on like you guys a live stream? Yeah, and they, he bought yeah, in on whatnot. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, wow. man, That's it's weird. dope, man. I love I mean, the just live shopping experience. Yeah. Like no free product placement, but where where do we buy these? <laughs> True Creator, TrueCreator.net, <laughs> right, TrueCreator not dot com. No dot net. Dot net. It's dot a little net. different when it's for friends. Yeah, I appreciate that. I <laughs> yeah. appreciate that plug. But yeah, yeah, man, it's just business. Like like I said, it's just a cool like experience to you know taste something new. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And dabble yeah. in because I've seen you and your businesses. Tell me what what's one thing that you've learned through like creating your outside companies that mm. you probably didn't experience doing YouTube videos? Um, definitely got to be organized. I would say, um, I don't, I've tried, you know, we tried the alley hoopster thing with the trick shot game that shit didn't really work. So that was, uh, you know, cut off, but you know, on the other side, like real estate, mm. you know, we got, Back That's home. one thing I haven't tapped into. You gotta tap in, bro. Damn, really? I'm I'm very yeah, surprised man. you haven't. Tapped I just in. Me too. I don't know. Like real estate for me, it it's one of those things where like my passion wasn't there, and I don't want to get into it. Yeah. And like just buy some, just to say I'm like into it. You yeah. Know what I mean, like I, I really feel that. Like want to dabble, like do research, and like know what I'm doing, and I haven't taken the time to learn that yet 100 percent. see i I haven't even got a house yet so i'm still i'm trying to buy a house are you renting i'm renting bro i didn't buy it okay buying where i live like yeah not yet (laughs) i mean it's tough in la like if you're gonna when you buy some property you should probably do it in a different way i I, I mean i joke around with brie like saying like yeah let's just go to like kansas and get yeah pull up to utah (laughs) or some shit yeah when i go back to like my hometown uh, not hometown but just where i grew up and just seeing the homes there and like the prices i'm like dude i could buy right now bro like yeah we would 
be living a lot. Is Kansas where you're from? Yeah. I, I grew up in uh, Wichita, Kansas. Okay. So, hey, there's a YouTuber I met recently, uh, Daydrian. He okay. does like pranks and stuff Daydrian? on YouTube. Daydrian. Yeah. Dude, pranks are coming Daydrian back Hardy. on YouTube. He's from too. the same city. He's as you? from Wichita, Kansas. When he told me, I met him at the AMP house. And. I was talking to him, and I was like, I saw he had a Wichita tatted on him. I'm yeah. Like, bro, <laughs> you're from... Shut the fuck up, That's bro. crazy. You know what I mean? Like, from yeah. Wichita is crazy. Like, yeah. I mean, and that, then, uh, that's like he's someone saying they're from Wisconsin. He's a YouTuber as well. Like, he's popping, bro. Like, and I was just like, it's crazy to see someone come out of Wichita. You know I mean, he, yeah, like, bro. Born and raised type shit. I mean, if you got it tatted on you, you like that's oh, yeah. repping. That's, you know that's, I mean? that's gotta like mean the equivalent to, yeah. to another motherfucker being like, I'm from Kenosha. Yeah. I'd be like, what the fuck? Nah, bro. It's 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 like it's crazy to me. Shout out to him. He's a really cool guy. Um, but like, yeah, coming out of Wichita, I grew up in Tulsa too. I've just moved around a lot when I was younger, so that's why it's hard for me to say like, oh, I'm from there. Like, you know what I mean? I yeah. always yeah. just had to adapt to new places and yeah. like I was born in London, moved when I was one year old to Tulsa. Then when I was four, moved to Kansas, Wichita. Then I moved back to Tulsa. Then I moved back to Wichita. Then I moved to London from sixth to eighth grade. Then I moved to Houston. And then I went to middle school and high school in Houston. And that's where, like, just. Bro, what? Holy shit. Yeah, bro. I've been in I don't the same even remember what you. Life. I don't even remember what bro, you just I've been, said. Bro. I've been around, bro. I've experienced wow. so many so, things, different cultures. Like, why'd you Why'd you guys move around so much? My dad was in. A, he's in oil and trading. okay, yeah. So okay. he does all that. Bro, you must have been like learning so much about like life. Yeah, like think about Quickly. like think about where you're at now, though. Yeah, like how it's many helped, it helped a lot. How many things you've experienced, and you know, meeting new people, having to. Dude, I growing up, I hated it. I hated my parents for yeah. that. But being where I am today, I'm thankful for it because now I look back and realize, like, dude, if I didn't experience how ignorant I would be to just the world. Yeah, you yeah. know, because I think, like, unfortunately. In America, like they really just censor a lot of things that you're not even aware of that's yeah. going on outside of here, and you, we take it for granted. Oh you know yeah, what I mean, like I think like I took just having space, like you know what I mean, like we live in these big ass houses and shit, and just like roads, and it's affordable. But you go out to like London and England, and my experience could be different, right? Mm. But just seeing like how expensive it was to live out there and you know, yes, they have free health care, but, bro, you got to wait in these long-ass lines. You got to, like, if you hear the COVID stories from my friends back there, it was crazy. So, I don't know, like, the whole, like, oh, we got free health care. Like, there's all this debate, yeah. right? Yeah, and but also, I the ain't fact the is, is like, <laughs> I'm experiencing both sides. So, mm -hmm. for me and my, like, how I want to live, like, I've realized, like, I, I've been kind of taking, you know, the U.S. for granted a little bit and, like, you know, but other people may think I'm crazy. Like, no, I want to live in London. I want to yeah. go there. Yeah. And it's like, you're saying that because you haven't, you haven't lived experienced there. And then it. when you go to London, you hear everyone say, oh, I want to live in this state. And yeah. I'm like, no, you probably don't. Yeah. Uh, you know, you got to <laughs> yeah. go go over there. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's just all about the, the lens you live through. And just I always encourage people to travel so you're not ignorant to things. And I think that's why the U.S. <sighs> is like, so frowned upon at times because people are so closed minded when mm -hmm. it comes to things that they're not used to or uncomfortable about. And if you really just go and experience it for yourself, you realize like, you know, the, the world ain't bad on the outside. Yeah. You know what I'm saying they're not, yeah. they don't mean it, you know, it's, yeah. and I don't want to get into politics or anything because I just think it's not about that. It's just about like experiencing things before you judge it. Yeah, you know, like I agree. You're not even really allowed in some states to learn about certain religions and mm -hmm. things. So it's like, how are you already criticizing and critiquing other religions when you're not, you haven't, you don't know the first thing about it. Yeah. yeah, you know. So that's what's crazy to me sometimes, and that's why I'm thankful for going over there and experiencing that curriculum in the UK. Yeah, because out there, bro, I'll never forget the day I asked, is the test going to be multiple choice? And the whole classroom laughed at me. 
Really? Because Why they, they don't they don't do that in the UK. There's no multiple choice tests, bro. It's that, straight essays. Then I'm failing every test. Everything bro. I had to actually <laughs> study, bro. Like what the it fuck? was crazy. I was like, yo, and I'm in a I'm in a sports college. <laughs> So, like, they grade you on every little thing, every sport. You got to know every sport. They, like, they grade it from 1 through 10 on if you're a genius or whatever in that shit. Like, Damn, it's, it's, like, straight it's like essays. Like, oh, I'm wearing a uniform. I never had to wear a uniform before. Like, it was it was crazy. Wow, bro. But I had to go there because, like, the basketball there was terrible. Yeah. <laughs> bro, I was, like. So, you were getting I buckets. Was, I was 12, yeah. like, yeah. having to hoop with grown-ass men just to get some comp out yeah. there. Yeah. was crazy. Damn. I mean, if you were playing people with your age, you were getting oh, man, buckets, I was, though. I averaged 50. Yeah. How tall were you fuck? at 12? Um, At 12, <laughs> I was, what grade is, is that, like, 8th, 7th grade? 12. 7th yeah, grade. It's like, 7th grade. Yeah, I was, like, 5'10". I didn't really go through a growth spurt until Bro, was my high school. Bro, my height in seventh so grade. So you were fucking like, damn. This, I was, I was, yeah, this this kid's going to be like 7'1". I was really like lanky. Damn. Yeah. yeah. I, was, I played like I played guard, though. I didn't start playing post till like around 6. Really? Eight. They had you at 5'10 yeah. playing guard at that age? Yeah. Well, no, I was shorter before 12. Like, I was... I say shorter, but <laughs> but still I don't tall know as hell. What the fuck is short? Like, yeah, still tall. They as were hell. asking for my birth certificate. Yeah, like exactly. They grade. definitely yeah. thought you were one of those crazy. AAU kids. That's I literally 25. had to bring it to YMCA games. Like it was wild. Oh, Just damn. So we, our games would count. <laughs> damn. I was like, it was one of those, bro. Yeah, I mean, we all know those kids that were in AAU, and you yeah. were like, hell no, nah, that was, kid is not our And what's funny age. is like, I would be playing in like, I would, I had a third grade AAU team, and we'd play up, and people would still ask like. Yeah, these kids are too old. Yeah. Get that kid's yeah. <laughs> birth no, certificate real quick. I know what you were saying because, bro, we'd pull up to an AAU game and we'd be like, no way. That guy, <laughs> this guy's got a fucking beard. Yeah, exactly. Bro, like, why is he 25? Hey, I'd be kids like, they really do be having no beards at like bro. 16 now. Bro, like, bro I, I swear my these kids evolve different now. Hey, man, bro, something in the grass. Shit is different. You know, something bro. in the air. Motherfuckers are in there. windmilling from the three point Dude. line. All right, let's Bro, talk about basketball what? for a little bit. All right, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. This is why I think LeBron James is the greatest of all time. <laughs> if you don't, I don't know what you're talking and about. It's the adaption of just the human evolution, right? It is the just the athleticism from – Bro, what, sixth grade? You see sixth graders. It's not a sixth grader being held back. It's a legit 11, 12-year-old. Regular year old sixth grader. That can win meal. Yep. That wasn't yes. a thing – when Jordan was in the Hell NBA, no. No. you know, like windmills were like, oh, this is this is always what I've said. I'm yeah. talking about If you're the not camera, doing a, three, a 720 between the legs, you're you're basically like when you're at slam ball, that's what we expect without oh, hell yeah. the trampoline. You know what yeah. I mean? To really be like, damn. Yeah. You know, to make a reaction. And it's like, I just think with that alone is enough to say, OK, well. You know, LeBron James still doing his thing. He's a little, he, This year, he's not the craziest. But he's but, been good the last few games. But it's still beginning of the season, right? Just overall, the domination of his, just throughout his career, competing with these kids that are coming up. And you mm -hmm. see the, the Jason Tatum just going crazy. Yeah. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, Devin Booker, you, Ja Morant. Like, the things Ja is doing, I mean, this could be a, a crazy take. But I think he's what – what Derrick Rose was going to be. Oh, you know 100%. what I mean? Yeah, 100%. And, like, sure. I, dude, the moment Jaw is, like, a consistent, like, jump shot that looks like, you know, and he'll I, get I actually believe it'll go in, you know, I think he's going to be even better. And that's scary bro. to think about, you know? He, what people, bro, I'm he's telling you. got so much athleticism. Dude, it's like 360 crazy. legs, bro. That's a normal thing in the league today. That that was oh. never even done. You, in, you remember yeah. when jo John Wall was doing that shit, and we were like, "What oh, the yeah, fuck?" Oh yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, like, yeah. It's like crazy. Okay, cool. Doesn't even make top ten. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Like, <laughs> bro. Okay. When it comes to this goat debate, I feel like if you don't think LeBron is the goat, you're just not really paying attention. I think it's more of the, like an adaptation. the way that I know, like, but the way that the league is now. Bro, there's no you can make way the these people in the I, 90s I do, could compete. I do take in the argument of like, okay, well, if you were to put Jordan in that situation. He would adapt. He would adapt. But then if with that, I say, okay, you could say that about damn near everything. So what mm -hmm. is the point of just like, 
you know like what's I, I don't know. It's just My like problem humans, is when like people say LeBron can that. be in the 90s, and I'm like, that motherfucker is 260 pounds and 6'9". You're tripping. Yeah, I don't even really like thinking that, too, because, yeah, I don't I don't know and we'll never know. But yeah. the fact of the matter is the numbers don't lie. They the don't lie. Oh, but it's not all about numbers. It's like championships. That's a number, too. I don't know. Are we talking about individuals <laughs> here? Or are we Fuck talking it. About They're all rich. That's what I'm saying. They're both great. Yeah. But I'm just uh, – I'm sorry. I don't think there's a wrong answer either. No, I don't either. I think so if, that's as long thing. as it's Jordan or LeBron, I think I'm giving good. my point. I hear other people's point. And to be honest, it's going to go to people's graves, and then eventually it'll just die out. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, Giannis is going to be in this debate what if, eventually. What if we're biased? What if it's because I didn't see Jordan yeah, play 100%. Yeah. with my own eyes? That's why yeah. I say Giannis will probably be in this debate when we're, when we're older too. Yeah. Like, you never know. It's yeah, tough, I man. I mean, bro, Giannis is 26. Giannis is he's 26 years old or something like that, and he's got a ring bro. now. He's a finals MVP. Yeah, the Bucks championship, I'm not going to lie, is probably like one of the greatest. Like, That's what I'm saying. Ever, like, That's what I'm saying. As an individual like, superstar. I bro. will say, respectfully, I think that season goes a little different if everyone's not injured because I feel like every but, team was okay, injured. But to that point, you could – like. How do we know that other seasons of like old heads, like they didn't deal with the same thing? I well, don't know the stats. And yeah. you know, people talk the about history. the bubble too. The a bubble. Lot of, a lot of people are on I that. think, hey, the bubble is slept on. Everyone's saying, oh, I think he's that's a the hardest player. championship I to think, win. I think that was the hardest championship. You don't see your win. family. You can't do, like, your they mental were, has got to be so strong. Think about that shit. They were isolated, bro. At fucking Disney World chilling. <laughs> Literally at yeah, Disney World. I freak but, out if I'm in the same place for like more than five days. Exactly. Bro, <laughs> no family. You're not seeing your children. Like that is a hard task. Yeah, bro. People don't understand that the bubble championship could have been one Some of the hardest. guys, if they don't get pussy, they start freaking out. That, like, that's <laughs> another, bro, that's another thing. You're not even fucking <laughs> when you're out there. You just start looking Dude. at, like, how the, the, the maze a little different. Yeah, thing. bro, you, like, start, <laughs> you see you see, mini, you see Minnie Mouse walking out, and you're like, yo. Yo, this they're is, getting crazy. Hell, nah. <laughs> like, nah, that shit's nah, different. That's crazy. Nah, for real, it was... It was hard on them, probably. But yeah, it's bro, that type sh- of hey, stuff. Hey, shout out to the hometown team, Milwaukee Bucks. So we, Trent, yeah. Trent likes the Lakers. I want to go to a Bucks. I just game. like LeBron. I just like LeBron. Bucks games are lit, bro. I want to. You got to pull up. There. You're a Thunder fan, right? I am. So I you am. like Shea? I'm assuming. Oh yeah, Shea is he's, he's MVP. He's nice, I, bro. Shea's he, Shea's he, crazy you know, this hey, year. Listen, when well, I don't know. They've been kind of like winning, so I don't know if they're gonna get. Any first round, nah. Pick, <laughs> any Victor pick? We should but, all be tanking though. But, I'm not gonna dude, lie. Victor, yo, bro, Victor's the real deal, bro. bro. I saw you next to him, and I've that's never, how I knew that motherfucker so was the, huge. The biggest human that I've seen with my own eyes and felt like, okay, this is a big guy. Pause. <laughs> Joel and B <laughs> is literally like, oh that, yeah, that guy. Yeah. I was like, okay, Cause, but Victor. Nah, he's like double it. Like I, bro. Swear, like I feel like that was the first time I've ever felt small. And like, he's seven, seven, seven he's three. seven four, like seven he's three, seven three. Like he told me, he's seven three, but I, he's not. He's seven four. He's seven, seven four. Okay. Shoes on for and sure. Then shoes, it's like, you know, you could get two inches with shoes. Yeah, bro. Like, he yeah. throws on some Air Forces. He's seven five. No, he, his shot is just so pure. Like he didn't miss in my video. Like it was embarrassing. Like bro, I was, it's I, cr- you see him taking the ball up like he's a guard. I've never seen anything yeah. like it. as going long as into that trip. I didn't think he was gonna be like that crazy. No, if he yeah. stays healthy, he is that guy. Like bro, he's I'm, different. I'm very curious to see. Like, like imagine when he gets drafted, right? Like, just. He could dude. change the game. Bro. He can. He, he he is already. Like, I mean, dude, and he was going up against dudes that are like two sixty, two eighty, and yeah. still moving. Them, he's bro. playing like, so yeah. in competitive shit too. Like this he's kid, not playing scrubs. Bro. He's, he's playing different. Guys. Like G League's not really like that scrubby to me anymore. No, because it's like it's dudes no. that are like. I mean, in the league, like yeah. we're in, in and yeah. out. Like it's not what it used to. be. I mean, it's tougher yeah. than a lot of the college teams. So, like the shit that he's playing against is crazy, bro. Yeah. Like it's insane. And everybody in the G League is going hard because they're fighting for that spot. Oh yeah, to and make tra- yeah, the that's NBA what I'm saying. roster. That's the difference. I think college and G League is a really good competitive level. For oh, one hundred percent. I thought it was very interesting uh, the route Lamelo took because that was something that I had never seen before. Yeah, it was more 
I think Lamelo's route was had to do a lot with like social media. Well, yeah, just, like you know, but he could do that. And he it, had well, the game. The like, thing was crazy because I was like, damn, he's like in this league no one's heard of, and he's like still second draft, second listen, round. I mean, second pick, right? Listen, if you if you know the right people and you're good enough, it don't matter where you play. You're going you're going to go to the NBA. Yeah, like, I, from what I've seen and what I know, you will be in the NBA no yeah. matter where you play. Definitely. All right, I want to ask you: Do you think you could have made the league? Do I think I could have? Um, Do you think you had the drive to make that? I didn't league, actually. I didn't. I, I honestly don't think I had the drive to make the league, nor st- even if I did stay yeah. in the league. Um, just because, like I said, gr- like getting into basketball, I just had. You, it wasn't go, like. It was like go to college for free. It wasn't like, a passion thing. No. 100%. And I don't know. I, I Sometimes I kind of look back and blame like. Was I just too enforced with it? Like, I feel like maybe if I wasn't so, f- my, like, my parents. If were, you weren't told to do it. Yeah, like, yeah. would I would have been a little different? Um, and I looked at it differently. Because uh, I was good. Like, I'm good at it. But it just, like, didn't really matter to me. Well, especially um, when you were playing, the shooting big man wasn't as, like, prevalent. Yeah. Now oh, dude, you yeah, no, bro. Oh, it's if a, I knew what I knew now, it would yeah, be a exactly. different story. It, but, it's so, like, you were one of the earlier big men that I, I could go shoot. off of like i like to go off of just the facts and what i what i've been told yeah right rather than oh i could say like yeah i make the nba yeah but yeah. like my college coaches like i'll never forget when you know coach scott Sutton would tell me like i will be a d1 all-american mm-hmm. like he believes like the way i'm playing how i'm practicing you're gonna be a four-year all-american yeah. and you will Go to the NBA. Yeah. That's, that was your... That's what he told me. That was my college coach. College or, coach. Or Roberts, yeah. And unfortunately, just injuries came about, and it didn't work out. And I, you know, I f- for a while, I was kind of bummed about it. Like, damn, what if, what if. But yeah. I think, like, living life on just a what if or what could be, it's just, like, It's not so it. depressing. Yeah. It's not it. You no, know? of course not. And, and also, I think you're at this point now where you, you're, you, you're still working with the NBA. Like, no, you're still dude. doing that shit. And yeah. now you're in full control. It's almost like a blessing in disguise. Exactly. Right? Like where everything happens for a reason, like, bro. Like my goal, if I was to make the NBA, was to be like the twelfth man to where yeah. like I can say, yeah, I went to the NBA, but I'm just getting the checks to go make this company or business. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Bro, like that's you're, literally like what I wanted. to You're do. doing what you wanted to do if you were in the NBA, but you don't have to play 82 games a year. Nope. Like that's. I would love that NBA check though because now yeah, even yeah. like the lowest paid contract is like five mils yeah so. send them yeah. a 10 day real quick i mean <laughs> quick if, if anyone needs to like sell some tickets or anything send them a 10 hey, day man if i if i had that drive i would actually go for that but um which is a possibility now i think with the internet like yeah you see yeah. crazy shit especially like g league and like a lot of that stuff is for publicity yeah like, it's oh not, yeah the one thing i wanted to ask you was you mentioned uh filming youtube videos when you were in college was that not a problem with were you in NCAA? So that's why I went to uh, Division Two school, and okay. not Division One, okay. because yeah, my Division One like offers told me I'd have to delete. Yeah, because I was gonna now. say I know the with the rules back then you weren't able to. It was very strict. That's, that's what Tristan had to do. Yeah, so I didn't I didn't even play college ball because I started making money. Like I, I was literally. That. I, saw, I watched your your video when you made yeah. that decision. Damn, I forget. Yeah, I was Ooh, gonna I go, really bro. I was gonna go because I had a lot of people telling me like go get your free education but i was like bro i'm Making i'm running up in. a bag right now let me so, try to keep this going and see what i could do with it so we were pulling up on you straight hair tjs no shit. we were pulling Holy up on shit. chris before I, the curls bro. i didn't even before. realize it was that long ago that's crazy you might have just introduced the curl yeah but i've seen the videos yeah that's oh, crazy yeah. oh yeah. yeah i've been tuned in what for the sure. fuck that's actually wild. Straight hair TJS was a different animal, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> For real, bro. We are on some wild shit. Okay, that's interesting. Because I was wondering, I was because I me- I saw you mention that, and I was like, I, how the hell were you making money from YouTube at that time? Okay, cool. All right, yeah. So me and Chris were just actually out in Vegas not too long ago. Oh yeah. That was wild. Vegas is always a good time, you know, but it's one of those places you just can't go too often. You know, funny story with that Vegas trip was how I even went with you. Yeah. Because it was at, well, we well, were at Jesse's house. We were at Jesse's and we were flying out like the next morning. 
And, and then I'm I was like, like, let me check my schedule. Yeah, I'm going to come. I'm going to pull up. And you're like, wait, what? It's just like, I was like, yeah, I'll just come that that one day. Like, I forget. Like, Bro, you might. Did you pull up for like 24 hours? 20, like dead ass. 24 oh hours. <laughs> you were like, yeah, you, you'll hook me up. You know what I'm saying? We'll have a good time. Came there. And I think I didn't even see you first. I saw your dad. No really? way. Where, yeah. where at? At uh um, Was it at Was it? Um what was that hotel? Were we at the Win? I oh you oh, the, you're talking about Resorts World. I don't know. I Resorts <laughs> World is where we were you staying. You think he remembers at. buddy? Or? <laughs> no, no. We stayed at Resorts <laughs> World. We stayed at Resorts World. Yes. But we were at the day. I think club. it's the Win. The Win. Whatever the day club was at. Yeah, the Encore Beach Club. Right? Yeah. 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 yeah, and I saw him before you, and you recognized him. Yeah, no that's shit. The, that's it. I would keep up. Man. Yeah. Okay, that's awesome. <laughs> you know, and then uh, I was that's like, legendary. "Where's T at?" And he's like, "Over there." And then I was like, "What's good?" And then it was a good time. From yeah, what the hell then. was your experience meeting Jeff? Dude, and Jeff? then it was crazy. I I bumped <laughs> into somebody like, like that knew who I was, and I met at a card show. And I had no idea, and then I had to kind of like act like you know I did know, and then, oh, yeah. oh and that's you know hate. you definitely, I know hate. you've experienced that's that. That's such an awkward feeling. I know feeling. you've experienced. Oh that. my gosh, I hate when that someone's happens. Someone's like, "Hey, how you doing, man?" Like, and you're one like, "One time, fuck? yeah, one time." And it, you know, I don't even think I even met him before. I think it, <laughs> I met his coworker. Yeah, that inter- told me so their name, but yeah, <laughs> for me and Chris, it's tough because we meet a lot of people. Mm-hmm. We meet so many people throughout the day, and it's like someone that you could have met like a month ago or three months ago comes up to you and like, oh, you know, you're talking to them or whatever, and you're like, oh, I'm just talking to someone random, and they're like, yeah, it was so lit that we took a pi- you took a picture of me like on this day, and you're like, mm. yeah, that was yeah. great. I've had to come up with just stories in my head and just kind of or, or ways to answer people. Yeah. To where they don't feel offended. Has but anyone I feel ever, bad? I feel. Has bad. anyone ever called you out and been like, "Where did we meet?" I think I've had like some where it's like, "Oh, nice to meet you," and they're like, "Oh, we've met before." Yeah. So now instead of saying "nice to meet you," yeah, I say it's nice to see you. Yep. So that way, I need to. F- I do the same. I that's what I need to. I use. say it was good seeing you or yeah. something, something like that. Great to see you. Yep. So that way, it's like, you know, you never know. I but, mean, even people that aren't on social media have that problem. For me, yeah, no, dude. It's just like <laughs> even before I did social media, it was just because yep. I was the tallest guy in the room. So yeah. it'd just be like, oh, you'll remember me, not yeah. to you know toot my own horn, but it was just like I, it, you know, like bumping into people that it's yeah, easy it's, to remember the tallest fucking guy. Oh hell yeah! If I only talk to you to say hey, like I'm not gonna remember. I'm terrible with names, yeah. and I've been concussed for six, seven fucking times. Like yeah. I barely, dude, I have to put everything in my phone, you know what I mean, so. Okay, I want to hear some Vegas story, but I also wanted to ask, if you could estimate it, how many times in your life have you been asked, how tall are you? Oh, if I had to estimate, dude, I don't think I could count that high. (laughs) Like, it's actually crazy. All right, a real number, I'm not even kidding, could be, like, lifetime. Yep. Like six figures, like holy shit! I was about to say a million. <laughs> like, cause all right, all right, wait, wait, wait. Have I even lived like how many days? That have no way. Yeah, that. How many days have I been on Earth? That you haven't lived six. All right, days. think of like okay, think from like age ten to like now, and I get it yeah every it, and you on s- average you still get it on now. average twice a day from really 10, just on average because there's some days where if I'm out enough, like I'll be asked like five. Right. Um. Especially like <laughs> when I was playing basketball and I'd wear like basketball jumpers and stuff. So yeah, um, yeah, I'd say like okay, like ten thousand. I don't know. That's but that's a so lot. fucking that's crazy, lot, bro. bro. I and get- it's it's probably one of those questions too that I've like it's white noise to me to where like if if that's the first thing you ask me when I first meet you, I'm not paying attention. Like, oh no, yeah. like no. maybe depending on the scene I'm in. But for the most part, like people get mad at me if I don't respond. It's like, dog, like, yeah, you, you should want? know like, I've been asked that like ten thousand times. I don't know. I'd rather get a, like a greet first, you know, or mm. if you look, if you approach it in a uh, approachable way. Some people are aggressive with it, like, 
tall are you? Like, like they're mad NBA. that I'm yeah, tall. Like, I'm like, yeah. you're not in the NBA. Damn, okay. Why, why just, aren't you in the NBA? Yeah, you're exactly. fucking Dude, wasting that it height, is, man. It is the worst. I I remember when I was on, uh, me and Zach, we were walking down the street, and this dude uh, was on a bike, and he stopped and said, you play ball? And I was like, oh, nah, man, I just do YouTube. He's like, what a fucking waste. <laughs> and then just got on his bike, homeless dude, right? Got on his no. bike and dipped. And then Zach looked at me like, why are you not mad? I'm bro. like, bro, I get that shit all the like, I, I'm, I'm used so to like, used it. It doesn't phase me, you know? Like, people are, some wow. people aren't used to that. I'm used to it. Like, I, there's nothing you could tell me to make me feel bad about myself, you know? Because yeah. it's like, even before, like, it used to affect me, like, getting into this space. But once you really realize and, you know, have those self talks with yourself and, like, deep, you know, like, really look at yourself in the mirror, like, you don't care what others say so. yeah yeah um yeah i mean you've also seen a million comments in your life all that shit so that yeah, that's just nothing but yeah. vegas man that was i i still like just that was a great time man. bro like, well it's just crazy because you flew in for 24 hours 24 and you hours dipped and out now. like it was like play got and won we, some money i, I was think, winning that night too yeah well Good i think come we, up. we we did we up. did we stay longer than you did you i think so if if you did, it was only like an extra like half a day or something. Yeah. Like you were leaving the next day. But so it was I like came. the ne- the next day they're like, Where did Chris go? I was like, dude, he just hopped on a jet. I'm out. He's gone already. Literally a jet. You were JSX, a jet? of course. Yeah. Well, jet sweet. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to call that. You know how Chris rolls. You know, bro? if you want to call that, that's like one of those jets that's like you could say you flew, you know. It's private. it's a private jet. It is a private it's jet. It's a private jet comp charter. W Whatever. Flex. Listen, a jet's a jet. Yeah, a jet's you know a, what a I'm jet. Is and a you'll be surprised with those prices if you get them at a good time. Hey, it's nice. Vegas yeah. only forty minutes. I'm actually. Definitely. I think that's probably gonna be where my first house is. Is in Vegas. In Vegas. Yeah, man. man shit. Are the taxes, no state taxes. Taxes is a little better there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah I can't, I I can't deal with these California taxes. Yeah, I bro. Them. No, you. You can't live here forever. Well, I'll live here, but I won't reside here. yeah exactly yeah it's just it's tough you know now i'm going back to clicking my own ads yeah, yeah bro i mean you know? yeah but aren't people doing that thing where they move to like puerto rico oh if you're making like you know million millions yeah that's yeah that's, that's, logan, that's, that's, logan, that's logan paul money paul shit, yeah you know? that's logan yeah. paul money I, but we're not there yet <laughs> yeah i don't i wouldn't do all that not yet but we'll get there i wouldn't, I wouldn't even really want to do that just to do it you know well, but so i say that <laughs> until you, i make that money until you make that money yeah. and you're like no, oh, for real no. though, because it's it's crazy, especially like when you're paying taxes and shit. You're like, like I'm paying, I pay quarterly, and I'm like, bro, what? Dude, I had to get a new accountant because I just felt like I was, like I didn't, I just felt like I'm, I make money, but I ain't got, money. like, yeah. so it's like, I don't know. That's one thing. Like I'm, I'm getting better at too. Is just the, you know, finances, budgeting, and shit. Because yeah. with YouTube, that's another thing, bro. Like you can really say like this is for your youtube video or you you invest so much money into your craft because it's like that's travel that's mm-hmm. employees you know like just everything I mean, most yeah, things you're it, doing are damn near for your job like everything like, even yeah, like food like, no uh, it's everything you're like shit i'm hungry but how do you think the irs looks at it like okay if we want to go buy like a fucking off-white fit expensive ass hey, outfit that's for I a video man if if it's in a video if it's on Instagram, mm-hmm. if it's on any social media platform that you get taxed for, it's yeah. a write off. Yep. So you could say, I'm doing this for my image. Yes. Yeah, 100%. Yes. And you can write all of that off on your taxes. Yes. There's certain items you can't write completely off, but if you have the right accountant, I'm yeah. telling you, you will well, be surprised. You, you have a Tesla Model X, right? Mm-hmm. Is, the, is the old version over 6,000 pounds or yeah. no? Yeah. It is. So. Yeah. I just got mine. Right I bought off. it cash. Yeah. The whole thing is written off. Yeah. Because it meets that, whatever that vehicle it's clause is. It's a work is. truck. It's over 6,000 pounds. It's a work mm-hmm. truck. So it, yep. it's under the LLC, bro. And Listen, I I love the finesse. And it's not yeah. really a finesse because it's, I mean, it's I mean, you got to play the game. I mean, like, but, yeah. but this is shit they don't teach you. They don't. How? You got to learn don't. it. You got to see it. You got to live it. You, know? you gotta you gotta be around other successful people, and you gotta like learn about these things. Like I, none of this shit, I never learned it. 
dude. In that's high school. why I just love. I've always just gone to conventions. I've gone to places that have people that are like way up here that I can like learn from or take a piece of advice here and there. I was I've been going to VidCon and video conventions about YouTube since 20, 2008. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like before I was even out of high school, I was yeah. looking into that shit. Like I was watching vlogs of conventions and stuff, but then I could actually afford to go. I was on the first plane out, you know, when I graduated, that was my graduation present to just go to VidCon. Like, you know what wow. I mean? Crazy. So like, I've been wanting to do this shit like bad and I'm just so thankful and blessed to be here, man. And, you know, meeting you guys too through this thing is Hell a blessing. Yeah. So definitely appreciate it. Well, yeah. we, we've had a lot of, you know, crazy times over the past couple of years, dude, just from meeting like off the, on some internet shit. Yeah. I mean, bro, I met my wife, you know, like it's, it's wild. Nah, well, you're wa- meeting your wife on Twitter is crazy. That's different. Yeah. Chris was like, I'm a DMer and slid in here we DMs. are. Here we are. Chris just married his, uh, tall girl, Twitter. That was the hashtag. Hashtag wow. tall girl. Met Twitter. his wife on Twitter. If you well, need, if you guys need a wife, go on there. Just look up hashtags. <laughs> Literally. Literally. <laughs> but, um, well shit, Chris. First episode of the podcast. Hey, it was a the pleasure, Everyone's bro. different podcast. Everyone's different, man. Thank you for being here. Young Trench right here. Young Trench. Thank you guys for having Co-host. me. 100%. Thank you for coming Subscribe, on. Subscribe, like, follow, all of that, all yeah, platforms. Make, make sure you do that. That's everyone's different, man. Hell yeah. Thanks for tuning in, everybody.